So if you follow Western media long enough, you'll begin to see a pattern of drawing Iranian presidents and officials as being essentially just there. Now, with the sad occasion of President Raisi's passing in the helicopter crash, it could be important to take a quick look at his achievements, including his general policy. First of all, the Vienna talks. There had been good signs when Biden said that he'd reverse a number of policy decisions taken during the Trump era. So, Iran entered the Vienna talks in good faith and stuck by its position. The one being that it was the US that withdrew from the JCPOA and imposed sanctions on Iran. And so, it was the US that had to prove its trustworthiness by removing set sanctions. The US didn't budge, and so Iran stuck by its red lines. Also, during Raisi's time in office, Iran and Saudi Arabia agreed to restore diplomatic relations and reopen missions in their countries following seven years of strained relations. Now, in an exclusive interview for Al Mayadeen, Raisi pointed out that the restoration of ties with Riyadh frustrated Tehran's enemies, especially Israel. Raisi's tenure also witnessed Western backed and funded riots and armed insurgencies in Iran following the death of Mahsa Amini, whose passing according to Raisi, was exploited by the US and some European countries to destabilize Iran. In September 2022, Raisi raised a picture of the former commander of the IRGC's Quds Force, Martyr Qasem Soleimani, at the headquarters of the UN General Assembly in New York. Now, during his speech, Raisi stressed that no matter which US president created ISIS, it was Iran, spearheaded by Martyr Soleimani, that managed to defeat this project. It was under Raisi that Israel saw the largest attack in its history with Operation True Promise, in which Iran retaliated to the Israeli bombing of its consulate in Syria and the martyrdom of a number of its high-ranking advisors. Raisi's administration also worked to expand its international trade partnerships, including with countries in Asia, Africa, and Latin America. And his country prioritized economy and security, leading him to take up a good neighborliness policy to establish sound economic and diplomatic relations with neighboring countries in order to foster mutual security and develop relations. Also, as of January 2024, Iran became a permanent member of BRICS, fostering a new stage of working to usher a new multipolar world order. But mainly on the domestic scene, regardless of political differences, Raisi was known among all to be a tireless worker because he knew full well that the responsibility with which he had been entrusted by the people was to serve the Iranian nation. And it was one that he did not take lightly. It was a recurring theme in many of the speeches he gave throughout his time in office. And that's how he'll be remembered.